Hello everyone, I'm Jing Kun Cao. Today I'm presenting our paper, Observation-Centric Thought, Rethinking Thought for Robust Multi-Object Tracking today. This paper is done by the collaboration from Carnegie Mellon University, Shanghai AI Lab, and NVIDIA. In this paper, we propose an algorithm by improving the limitations of the famous thought tracking algorithm. Thought is based on common filter, and so is our proposed method. We name our proposed method observation-centric thought, or OC thought for short. It is simple that no training is required. It only requires the filtering uh, model and the uh, off-the-shift detector. It is effective to be state-of-the-art of on multiple MOT benchmark maps. It is also time-efficient that uh, can run faster than 500 FPS on a single CPU. As mentioned, the motivation is that we recognize some key limitations of common filter and the OC thought built upon it. Thought works on the assumption of linear motion and uses measurements by detectors to correct the common filter estimations. It typically works work well only when video frame rate is high and a consistent measurement is provided. When there is no measurement, which is also called observation, thought can continue to estimate a future object state only by the common filter and the linear motion assumption. This makes huge trouble in practice when nonlinear motion and occlusion happen together. Let me introduce thought first. It works by combining a detection model and the common filter. On each time step, thought will have an estimation of object state by the predict of common filter and the observation by the detection model. Then, following the assumption of Gaussian noise, thought calculates the optimal posterior estimation by combining the two states as a final state outcome. When no observation is available, thought directly uses the prior estimation from a common field predict as the posterior estimation outcomes. Now, let us see why thought will fail in some cases. First of all, in thought, each object is represented by its location and the velocity. On high frame rate videos, the time interval between two frames is very, very short. So a tiny position variance can produce a significant variance to the velocity estimated from neighboring frames. Such a sensitivity to state noise won't make trouble when consistent observation is provided to correct it. However, when no observation is available, for example, the object is occluded, the state noise will be accumulated to distort the common filter parameters, and the object will be uh, expected to move in the linear trajectory following the pre-estimated velocity. However, the estimations from linear motion assumption can only be approximated within short time intervals. When the time interval without observation is long, the priori estimation from thought will go further and further away from the true object location. Thought thus fails because it trusts priori estimations even when the noise in it accumulates very quickly a long time. Now, let's say the proposed OC thought. The key idea is that common field estimations will be distorted by noise accumulated a long time. But the observation from detectors are independent on time steps, therefore suffers from less noise. We should leverage our observations to avoid the error accumulated in common filter, just as shown in the figure. Between the second and third image, the target person is occluded. The white stars are by the uh, uh, thought for the center position estimation, and the yellow stars are by the thought. We could see that even though thought also successfully reassociated uh, uh, the target after occlusion, the distorted parameters in its common filter make it lose its track afterwards. This is the overall architecture of OC thought. It has two main components upon thought observation centric reupdate, or ORU for short, and observation centric momentum, or OCM for short. Now, let me introduce observation centric reupdate. In figure A, we could see that the object gets untracked at time step T1 and reassociated at time step T2. 
in Figure B, we could see that after T2, because of the common filter noise, the estimated motion direction is shifted from the true direction. Therefore, the target gets lost again after T2. We propose ORIO to re-update the common filter parameters at T2, so that OC thought can keep checking the target after T2 as shown in Figure C. To do this, ORIO estimates a virtual check tree referring to the observations at T1 and T2. It is showing in red, uh, red dotted line C. On the other hand, the naive common field estimator to tree is showing in green dotted line. Compared to the green dotted line, the virtual check tree by ORIO is closer to the true check tree, and the common field parameters re-updated by following this virtual check tree will suffer from less variance. On the other hand, OCM is proposed to leverage velocity consistency from the linear motion assumption as an additional cost term for association. And the velocity is calculated by observations instead of common filter estimations. So, following implementation by SALT, we sum up the cost from RU terms and the cost from velocity consistency to make the final cost matrix. Then we use Hungarian algorithm to output the final association matrix between common field estimations and detector observations. Limited by time, I can't dive into details here, but only uh, introduce high level insights. Please refer to our paper, especially theoretical analysis in the appendix for more details. Let's say the performance on multiple benchmarks. OC salt is a tracking by detection method, so it shares detections from other methods highlighted in blue. It achieves the top performance on these benchmarks with faster than 500 FPS on a single CPU when the detections are given. This is a trajectory from some down track dataset samples. The black trajectory are the ground truth, the red trajectories are by OZ salt, and the green trajectories are by salt. We could see that in most of the cases, trajectories by OZ salt are obviously closer to the ground truth. This is the output of OC salt on YouTube video. We could see that even with very similar appearance, complicated motion, and very frequent crossover, OC salt results is still very robust. Finally, please read our full paper for more details. And the codes and the ways have been open source on GitHub. And we also provide a MM tracking version for support. Please feel free to choose anyone you like. Thanks.